Anthony from Johnny's MTG here. And we'll be opening a booster battle pack two-player game. And we'll actually be doing some gameplay with me and my brother. who is He's pretty new to Magic, but I think he understands Space Rules. And I think this also comes with a version where you don't have to shuffle. The game's pre-shuffled and you just kind of help, uh, you know, play as it progresses. Um, this thing was $10 at uh, GameStop. Uh, my LGS doesn't have them in stock. Um, because this is the uh, thing a lot of people don't like about them. Well, actually, there's another product that we're actually going to be doing a review here for. Here, the starter set. A lot of people don't like this product a lot more than they don't like this product. But let's go over why. The issue we have here is that this is two single-color 30-card Magic decks. The issue is, if you go to your LGS, any LGS that is... Uh, can't remember what the acronym is, PCN or something. It's it's Wizards' um, official gaming store that they sell official Magic the Gathering products. So they give away free introductory decks to teach people how to play the game of Magic. They give them away absolutely free. You don't have to pay for them. So now I'm actually paying for those decks, but you also get two packs of Dominaria. So realistically, I am paying $4.99 per pack for Dominaria to get two packs and a free... Uh, 60 card thing that you which let me make this clear you get to take those cards home when you're done at the lgs it's not like oh well yeah you get to use them but you have to put them back no you get to take them home when you're done so it is absolutely free to go to your lgs and get them to learn how to play magic okay so yeah that's it let's go ahead and open it and then me and my brother are just gonna do a little test video see if it's really uh good for amateurs to learn how to play magic and that's it all right, let's see. Battle of Friend. Choose one of the included decks, customize it with additional cards from a booster pack, and battle your friends all within minutes of opening the box. See, I don't know if I really would uh, recommend that because the issue you're going to have is, one, the booster packs may not supplement the deck you have, but more importantly is if this is supposed to be an introductory product, you're already giving them the booster packs to supplement. Um, I would suggest, hey, play with the decks first, see how they work, and then um, go ahead and open the booster packs. All right, unwrap the decks. How to play. Unwrap the decks and decide which player gets the decks. Oh, here are two packs of Dominaria they come with. A very nice little sliding tray. I, I got to admit, Dominaria on this side. I mean, really nice photo. It looks good. It, the product looks good. Um, so two packs of Dominaria which we'll go ahead and open. And two starter decks. And actually, oh, I mean, look, they're, they are they are rares. I mean, they're not nothing, but you do get rares in the 30 starter decks. I'm pretty sure these look very uh, comparable to starter decks that you'd get in your LGS. So let's go ahead and crack one and see if it's open. Uh, no need to read the reference guide if you know how to play Magic. Because they include that in every product, I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and crack this blue one. Let's see. All right. Sphinx, Windrake, Coral Morpho. No, this is very... Some islands. Yeah, this is very standard. Um, yeah, very standard. Yeah, definitely not shuffled. Because if these were your first cards, a four cost, a four cost, a three cost, and a couple islands would not exactly be very good. All right, so let's go ahead. So now that we know that this actually isn't a <laughs> introductory product, or it shouldn't be labeled one, because I would be lost if I didn't have someone to sit here and sit down with me and explain. Because if I think about this, the the problem with buying this for ten dollars is not the fact that you get two packs and only two packs. Is the problem with me is if you don't get your free introductory thing from Wizards. Unless you have someone, a friend that plays Magic, and then you go buy this and then go sit down with them to teach you, you're going to have to either learn this on your own somehow or just just figure it out because there's no introductory... I mean, look, Wizards gives you this, a quick reference guide, which gives you this much damage. Or, or damage, <laughs> This much rules, and it's just not, it's not good to teach you. I would highly suggest checking out 
YouTubers, if you're learning how to play, Telerian is absolutely the best, I think, at explaining the very basics of the game. So we're gonna go ahead and, look, there's nothing in these decks. They're very basic, very simple decks. But we are gonna go ahead and have fun with them. After we open these two Dominaria packs, we're gonna go ahead and record a little uh, battle between me and my brother using these little 30 card decks. And we're not gonna amp them with these uh, booster packs. So, an Ops. Oh, these cards feel different. I don't know. They feel like more cardboard than uh, newer cards or guilds. And these are what, 2017 Dominaria came out? I don't know if the printing was a little different then. Better or worse or... I don't know. I like the feel of the cards better though, I should say. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the first uncommon. Fire Fist Adept. Thorn Elemental. Oh, a hollow, or not hollow, a rare, which is weird. The, I mean, I guess in Dominaria it's different. I didn't know that. The, um, there was an uncommon behind the rare. It's usually this way. So we got a legendary creature, uncommon, but then we got a Siege Gang Commander, which is a very cool card, a 2-2 two, two for 5. And when it enters the battlefield, create three tokens, uh, and you can sack one, uh, by paying one red and one colorless to deal two damage to any target. Very cool card. A very cool looking planes. And then a cleric token. So we'll go ahead and scoot those off to the side. Yeah, I think right there, Siege Gang Commander. If that if I was to put that one of these decks to where I could, see I can't even because there's no red, um, I think it would be unfair. That, that card's a, a really good card. I don't think that there's too much in these decks that could handle it. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and skip through the bulk. Oh, we can already see we have a foil back there hiding on me. I just don't know how to, yeah, like the, these cards are like chalky. I, I wish I could like, I can't explain it. Like they look, it's hard. They look fake or something. I mean, I, I wanna get really good quality on that. I want you guys to really see, it looks like it was printed by like my home printer. Like the Dominaria logo on this card. It just feels terrible, it feels terrible. I, I don't know if there's a reason for it. Um, Time of Ice, uh, looks better. Looks like just that Urza's tomb looks terrible. A Sorcerer's Wand. Um, look, I got a common, a common foil before I have, look, I got a legendary creature, which is very cool. Legendary mythic. Um, Janora, the uh, Weatherlight Captain. Really awesome, three, three for five, for four. Uh, whenever you cast a historic spell, you draw a card. Cool. But why did I get the hollow? I guess, I don't know. The set must be different than what I'm used to. But a hollow or foil, however you want to say it, common little little fungus creature. But still, uh, we got a mythic and a rare. And see, look, I actually have a mountain. So now I could, with one mountain, if I played the full 30 card deck out, I could run, I could play this or a siege gang commander and it wouldn't even be a fair match. So we're gonna go ahead and not even do that. So I will see you guys in a few minutes with a battlefield recording. All right, welcome everyone to the uh, Dominaria Booster Battle Pack two-player game, one-game match. Uh, me and my brother will be playing the 30-card decks. We're going to see how well they actually uh, work, run. Uh, it's more just a test to show off the two decks that come in the booster pack. Um, obviously, if you're watching this, you just watch the product review for it. And uh, that's about it. Um, we already we have our seven cards in hand. We already decided I'll be starting off. Have our life total at 20. And I'm going to go ahead and start with a swamp and pass to you. Mm -hmm. Card. Play an island. Pass. Okay. Turn. I'll play a second island. Or sorry, second swamp. And tap both. To play my dung beetle, a one and four, and I pass to you. So 
Font Clutter Land. Tap two. Okay. Color Merfolk. All right, my turn. Mm -hmm. Should stack your um, lands. It's easier for you. All right. I I'll untap Oops. my oh, yeah, lands. Definitely easier. Put another land there. I'll put it under. Actually. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Um. I don't know what you have, so I'll tap all three to play Cursed Minotaur. It's a three two and he has menace, so unless you block with two creatures, you can't block them. And I will attack with my Dun Beetle for one four. Mm, can't. You could block, but I die. Yep. Okay, so I have to take four. Take one damage. Oh, I thought it was four for a second. One damage. And it's your turn. Okay. Play an island. Okay. Like three. That's for one. That's for um, I will tap all three. Okay. An ancient crab. Nice. My turn? Mm. Oh, 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 yeah, I can't kill anything. I was just checking. No, you actually could. You could attack with a merfolk. I would kill you if you kill me. That would be a good trade off for you. Mm. Should have went with that. Yeah, but I can. Um, I can do my card. I'll tap three again to summon an ally strangler or two three with menace. Ooh, um, good cards. Okay, I'm gonna attack with my cursed minotaur and my dun beetle. I could block. I'm gonna block the more damage. The minotaur. With your stone crown. Mm -hmm. Well, it has menace, so you know I'd have to block with both creatures to block him. Oof. That's not good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. Um, you my target order is this and this, so you this, then I block this that dies, and then I die because I take damage. Yeah, but crab wouldn't die. Crab doesn't die, correct. Okay. Um, and it is your turn. Okay. Untap. Let's put him over there. Untap mana. Okay, untap. Okay. okay. Sorry about that. Um, well, Technical difficulties. Yes. I will put another land. I have four. So I will play. I will tap all four. Tricks of the trade. Your, your creature gets really? plus two and can't be put blocked. Put it on your crab? A three, five? Like, I mean, I guess it's good, yeah? Yeah. Okay, you're going to attack with him? Yeah. No, okay. I can't be blocked, so I'll take three damage. Yeah, I'll tell you the reason why that wasn't a good move is because you don't want him tapped like that because he has five health. You want him to just be able to block. Yeah. So it's not a great strategy. To He's put like a wall. Him. Yeah. Just put a just put a fight mechanic on a wall. It's not very good. All right, it's my turn. I can tap everything. He does do three damage now. Um, how much do I have? Well, three mana. I'm not exactly rolling mana right now. All right, I will. S <coughs> oh, you can't. You can't block. So I'll attack for. I'll do three damage to you. Mm. Bring you down to sixteen. Sixteen. There you go. I'll pass to you. Okay. Untap. Just roll the card. Put a mana. Now I have five. Okay. Oh. Oops. <laughs> the card's backwards. Uh, now I have five. So I will play four. Okay. Two, three. Four. I will play. Yeah, I'll play Nimble Investigator. Inventor. Sorry. Draw two card. I'll draw one card. Okay. Okay. I have one left, and I could attack. He does three, but I I die. No, remember he's. Oh yeah, he he's a. Get blocked. I keep running. I keep running. I take three. My I, turn. I gotta remember that. Yeah, take three damage. Uh, your turn. No, I gotta find, I'm trying to find the 14. I gotta remember that, uh, that I can't do Okay, that. I untap everything. Oh, nice. A 2-2. Two, two. can start blocking my cards. All right. Also, something else I can't... Oh, but... Oh, okay. No, I actually mm -hmm. have an answer for you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tap all three. Mm -hmm. Play Essence uh, Extraction. Deals three damage to a target. Oof. 
And I gain three life. That's a rip. That's good, good, a good rip. All right, and now I swing for three again. Now I can't. Yeah, 13. 13. 13. Okay, your turn. Your turn. Okay. Um. Okay, I got it. I tap. I have to go there. I have five there. Don't have any man. I don't have any mana to put. So I will play. Tap three. Okay. Play another crab. Ancient, ancient crab. Okay. And I have. Oh, so now you have a wall and you have two left. Attacker. I don't think I have. No, I don't have any twos in here. So. It's a three and a one. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay there you go. Do you for three? Sorry. <laughs> I think you made a critical error early. Yeah. I think you made a. I think you made a highly critical error early. Okay, so I have four swamps available. Um, it's not a lot I can do. Four swamps. Yeah, I'm going to tap. Three. Funny, I just told you about not putting enchantments on creatures with high toughness. But he's menaced, so now he can't be blocked unless you have two or more. So I'm swinging mm. for th five unblockable. Oof. Knock you down to eight. Your turn. Oof. That's not good. Where is eight? It should be in order. There you go. Okay. Your turn. turn. Mm-hmm. Untap, get your mana back. Jesus Christ. Okay, um, get one card, play. I have seven. Count. Okay. I always count when I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I will tap all six. Okay. Play Sphinx of Megosi. Okay. Oh, that's seven costs. Yeah, put it back. No, six cost. Oh. Three, three, three. Four, five, six. Okay, never mind. Okay, he's a flying. Can't be blocked with the flying creatures. Pay three. Draw a card, then put a 1 1 counter on him. So. Alright, one second. It's the last of my. Let's take one second break. And Zishin. Sorry, distractions like always. Alright, so he just summoned. He just summoned what? Your Sphinx? Sphinx. And uh, it costs you all your mana, so you have to tap for mana for him. All right. And what are you going to do? Are you going to attack? Mm -hmm. Well, he can uh, attack. He's just summoned. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm all tapped out, so you can actually attack me with everything. Yeah. And, Except for the things. Yeah. Oh, well, of course. Yeah. So what does he do? He does three. Three. Four. Four. So I'm going to ten. And I'm in trouble if I don't make my next moves very carefully. Very carefully. And I can't let you beat me, of all people. <laughs> so. Okay, we untap everything. We draw. All right. All right, boys. We drew nothing. Nothing good. I man, I got mana flooded. Um. Uh, it's, okay, so we're going to go ahead and swing for three. You can't be blocked. Five. We're gonna five. swing for five. Can't Drop be, you to three. Can't be blocked. And three. Mm-hmm. Into your turn. Uh, where is it? There it is. Okay, got it. And oh, my turn. I, yeah, your turn. Tap everything. Draw a card. I think I made a mistake because now I have nothing to block with. Um, You're gonna be able to swing for a good amount, good damage. I'm gonna. Tap four. Mm hmm. Four this can't be blocked. Okay. So if I did that, it would be. Whatever you want. Okay, if I did that, so. What are you tapping a four for? Uh, oh, yeah, for a tunnel. Uh, where is it? Okay. Tricks of the trade, it would be. Okay, so you gotta put it on a creature. I would put it on Sphinx. Okay, so now the Sphinx is B. He, gets plus two, so he's, he's an, an eight, eight, six, and can't be blocked. 
Oh yeah, yeah. So. Can be blocked anyway. Set off the flyers. Okay. Okay. So what are you gonna do? I think I, I think I win, but. Okay. We're gonna keep do? going. Oh, I don't have any mana. Left. Swing. So you're swing with everything. Yep. Or? You can't be blocked. Well, Jonah, look, you always gotta keep your mana separate. It's always gotta keep. If you go to like a real magic game, they're gonna throw you right out of the door. I keep it tapped. That's tapped. That's not tapped. Mm -hmm. All right, now tap your creatures to attack with them. Okay. Tap all. Okay, uh, before you attack, I'll tap three. Let's play an instant. Essence extraction. Deal three damage to a creature, which doesn't matter. It doesn't kill it. Oh, no, it doesn't? Oh, just three damage. But I gain three life, and that's the key here. So I go uh, up to 13. Now let's see if uh, I take eight. Eight. So I go down to five. Eight. Um, I take how much from him? Three. Three. And I go down to two. Oh, you survived with one. Oh, nice. <laughs> and, and you tapped yourself out. Oh, no. So let's see if it's game. It is. Oh, oh boy. Oh, no. I play another swamp. Let's see. I have five. Finally, I have five. Look, at, look how long it took me just to get five. Um, look, at, look at all these six costs in my hand. I had two certain debts and a nightmare in my hand. That was terrible. I, I mean, I think for 30 card starter decks, that is way too many high cost cards to play. Um, but I tapped five to play Sengar Vampire just to have him. I can't block. Just in case. I will. Well, yeah, you can't block because you don't have anything with Menace. Uh, or you don't have two creatures that could block. Anyways, even if you had left one creature, I still swing for five damage and it is game. Okay. Good game. Good game. All right, guys, that is it. That is a test demo of the battle decks, uh, the Dominaria booster battle decks. I, I think there's... It has been... Uh, I think there's way too many high-cost cards in here, though. It has been tons of fun. Thank you guys so much. And this is really a product review, so I don't know what to give away in this video. Because, um, um, I mean, none of these cards really have high value. Um, if you comment down below, yep. um, yeah, you're just going to win. Uh, you're going to win the 60 cards, uh, from... Yeah, we're probably not going to use them. Or, actually, you can win the 60 cards, or, I forgot, we actually got the cards from Dominaria. So, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, never mind. Forget those crap cards. If you win, you can pick anything out of the cards we pulled, uh, today, which, out of the good cards, you got a Siege Gang Commander... And we pulled a uh, mythic somewhere around here, right? The, the dragon. And Janora, Weatherlight, Captain. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Bye, everyone. Please like, subscribe, yada, yada. And always, 